morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you are doing well today. Alright, so the, the songs that came through for this reading were Block Boy. What it, what it is, Block Boy featuring Kodak Black and Dochi. And the song goes like this. What it is, ho, what's up? Every good girl needs a little thug. Every block boy needs a little love. If he put it down, I'ma pick it up, up, up. Can't you see? It's just me and you. Panoramic view, that's my point of view, babe. All about me, that's the energy. That's the lemon pepper thing. I'm a 10-piece, baby. Bedroom bully in the bando. He gonna make it flip, do it with no handles. Never switching sides, only switching angles. Or we go crazy like Rambo. What it is, ho, what it is, what's up, what's up? Every good girl needs a little thug. Every block boy needs a little love. If he put it down, I'ma pick it up, up, up. Hey, hey, what it is, ho, what's up, what's up? Every good girl needs a little thug. Every block boy needs a little love. If he put it down, I'ma pick it up, up, up. Hit, hit him up, hit him up in a truck. Got it tucked. He get it up like it's stuck. All night, I like. You ain't got to say when you know it's on sight. She got everything he wanted. A nice body, ass fat. Behind every gangster, a shorty solid that got his back. He know who to come to every time the world handle him bad. The one he can't, he called first, but still he always put her last, always put her last, yeah. I'm pouring out the glass, my body fighting off that gas, off that gas, yeah. Oh, smoke box, I'll kill him. That Zaza pack kicking my ass, kicking my ass, yeah. In the studio, dozing, I'm rocking, keeping from falling asleep. I hate that for you, N-I-G-D-A-S, ain't got no bread, but trying to beef. I hate that you, N-I-G-G-A-S, yeah, being black in America is the hardest thing to be, to be, to be, yeah. Every thug need a little love. Baby, how about, how about me? Told her don't call me little stink because I smell like money. I put it down, the greatest baby, hold this here for me. I took her from her N-I-G-G-A. We vibing two weeks out the country. She said she had a little situation, but I could tell it ain't about nothing. I made her a rapping bitch. It ain't about nothing. She say, don't hush me. I say, don't rush me. And I can tell how much she liked a N-I-G-G-A by the way she's sucking what it is. What it is, ho, what's up? Every good girl needs a little thug. Every block boy needs a little love. If he put it down, I'm going to pick it up, up, up. What it is, ho, what it is, what's up? Every good girl needs a little thug. Every block boy needs a little love. If he put it down, I'm going to pick it up, up, up. I don't care if you run the streets, long as you're coming home to me. I love the way you walk and the way you speak. He going to keep it real, that's the deal. That's the reason that I stay down, 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 down. I'll pull all that... I'll put all that on my name, all on my name. Yeah, that and, and even exchange. Tell them what it is. Stay on your tail. We're going to tell them. We got to tell them what, babe. What it is, ho. What's up? Every good girl needs a little thug. Needs a little thug. Every block boy needs a little love. Needs a little love. If he put it down, I'm going to pick it up, up, up. What it is, ho, what's up? Every good girl needs a little thug. Every block boy needs a little love. If he put it down, I'm going to pick it up, up, up. Back it up and do it, do it like that. Yeah, what's up? Back it up and do it like that. Yeah, back it up, back it up, do it like that. Back it up. Hey, what it is? Hey, what's up? Jay White did it, little thug. More hits on the way, yeah, a little love. We need a little love, you know I mean. Woo, woo, hey, 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 ride out, whoa. Okay, so we have a situation here where this woman, it sounds like me, 
is addicted to either money from drugs or drugs or both. And she feels like this person is in love with her because when he's going through hard times, he always turns to her, but he never treats her right. Okay, and then the next song that came through was 16 by Highly Suspect. And it goes like this. It took me 16 years to find you, one second to love you, seven years to hold you, one minute to lose you. Oh, God, where did I go wrong? Oh, God, do you remember all of the nasty shit that you used to do with me? Because I remember everything. And do you remember when we hopped the BNB to NYC? You were only 17, but that puppy love is over. We're so much older. Nothing's ever going to feel the same way that it did when we were younger. I wish that I could hold you, baby, but I know it's over. We're never going to feel it again. Remember the little situation that she had that he said ain't about nothing? She was pregnant. It took me 16 years to find you, one second to love you, seven years to hold you, one minute to lose you. Oh, God, where did I go wrong? Do you remember when I was your king and you were my queen? Because I remember everything. Do you remember when you told me you were holding my future kid and all the joy that would bring? Well, I thought I was the father, but baby, it's not my daughter. Because baby, a different color. Well, baby, I'm not your, I'm, well, baby, I'm not a brother. It was just too much to swallow. You ripped my heart out. But that puppy love is over. We're so much older. When nothing's ever going to feel the same way that it did when we were younger. I wish that I could hold you, but baby, I know that it's over. We're never going to feel that way again. It took me 16 years to find you, one second to love you, seven years to hold you, and just one minute to lose you. Oh, God, where did I go wrong? Where did I go? Where did you go? And I said, I'm sorry if I ever, and I'll say I'm sorry if I ever see you again. Because on that day, I'll wonder, where were you probably, where are you probably, I'm sorry. Because on that day, I'll wonder where, where you probably needed a friend. It took me 16 years to find you, one second to love you, don't trust you, but I still love you. Oh, God, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? It took me 16 years to find you. Where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? And then we had Someone by Aaron Lewis. And it goes like this. I'm damaged goods. I'm complicated. I sure do know how to tell a lie. Some people say I ain't worth saving. Sometimes I think they're right. I ain't, it ain't no secret I can say it. I get it wrong most of the time. But looking at you right now, baby, you're the one thing I got right. Because someone else would have walked away. Someone else would have never stayed. Sure as hell, someone else would have left me a long, long time ago. Someone else would have called my bluff, saying I ain't even worth their love. No one else could have loved me like you do. Thank God my son was you. I wasn't perfect. You were patient. I didn't know what you were waiting for. I swear I must have found an angel sent from heaven's door. Because someone else would have walked away. Someone else would have never stayed. Sure as hell, someone else would have left me a long, long time ago. Someone else would have called my bluff, saying I ain't even worth their love. No one else could have loved you like I do. Thank God my son wants you. I'm damaged goods. I'm complicated. I sure do know how to tell a lie. Someone else would have walked away. Someone else would have never stayed. Sure as hell, someone else would have left me a long, long time ago. Someone else would have called my bluff, saying I ain't even worth their love. No one else could have loved me like you do. Thank God my son wants you. Thank God my son wants you. Okay, so what we have here is a situation where there is three people. There was a long-term relationship between a man and a woman. Or young. They were young. 
younger than you are now. And somehow, maybe all three of you got involved in drugs. And one of the people that you were around was a drug dealer. And your person had sex with the drug dealer and got pregnant. And you thought it was your child and you were so happy that you were going to finally have a family and you were going to be able to settle down and get out of this horrible lifestyle that you were living. And I think you had aspirations and dreams of what life was going to look like because you were thinking about a future with this woman and this child and you were thinking about how this was giving you something to change and live for. But then when the baby was born, it came out a different race. And that ended your relationship, okay? And they are over here in the relationship with the person that they got pregnant by. And they are blowing and going. And who only God knows what happened to that child. They may have kept it. They may not have. Because he said she had a little situation, but it ain't about nothing. So he didn't even care that she was pregnant. While you're over here thinking that this is going to be the, the, the hope that the universe, God, the creator gives you to finally turn the corner in your life. The, the, the actual biological father, who's another race and a thug. doesn't care that she's pregnant and every time he puts something down she's going to pick it up and he knows that and so he's breadcrumbing her with money and drugs so that he can keep her and you lost everything you're somebody who lost everything and i don't know how much you lost but i, I feel that you lost a lot however in the midst of all of that, you found someone that was willing to stand by you through your difficulties. And anybody else would have walked away. They would have never stayed. But thank God my someone's you. So you had a friend or somebody else that you fell in love with. I think you fell in love with them. You may be falling in love with them. But you have found somebody who, who sees through all of the trauma and the pain and the disappointment and the real you. And they believe in you and they're helping you to believe in yourself again. Because you done been through so much with this other woman and losing this child. And God only knows what else because of the addiction that you were um, succumbing to. So I'm reading for the person who um, was betrayed. Okay. I'm hearing you see red deck. We're going to find out how spirit's working in your life. Show us how you're working in this person's life spirit. We already know what's happened here. Um, we don't really have to prove that again. The fool is here. Justice is here. And the moon is here. And they all came out in reverse. Okay. I'm not sure why they're all in reverse. Everything's in reverse. The magician is here. I'm going to turn them all up right just for because I think you're thinking, I think you're in your head about this situation. Yeah, it's been a dark time. There's legal aspects. You could have gotten in some legal trouble. You could have been incarcerated because of the moon with justice. That's a, that's a, that's to me when you pair justice with the moon, you could have been in a justice legal situation where you were incarcerated and now you're having to come out of that incarceration and begin a new life and you're thinking about how to manifest a new life so you're at the brink of starting something new and putting all of this heartache behind you but remember now you have someone who's willing to stand by you through all of this so they also play a factor in this. Show me how they feel about you. The person who, thank God my son wants you. Show me how they feel. Only you and an illusion. 
So they know that you may have feelings, still have feelings for this beautiful. They're um, illusions and friendship. So they wonder, I think, if this is really a true friendship because I think they know you still have feelings for this other person. Elusive. They feel like you're tricky and like there are illusions. Oof. All right, show me how this person feels to someone that you thank God for that someone is you. Whoa. They feel rejected, but loyal and like, they feel like there's been rejection, and, but you have loyalty and now your heart is all filled with clutter. So they know that you were rejected, but that you were loyal. That's how they feel. They feel like you are a very loyal person and you've been hurt by rejection, by somebody getting pregnant by somebody else, leaving you high and dry. But you were loyal, dedicated, trustworthy, and reliable. However, you're sending this person mixed signals because you have clutter in your heart. You have blocked emotions. You need to clear your heart chakra. You may even be rejecting this person's love. Thank God my son wants you. They might not know you feel that way. How do you feel about them? Yeah, you haven't told them how deep your feelings are. You, you haven't told this person how deep your feelings run for them. Unspoken in depth came out. You used to be cold, but you are warming up because of this person. What is it that you haven't told them, though, about how deep this is? That this is deja vu. This gives you deja vu. You're receptive to it. There's distance here. And you're letting go. So, it's like you've learned your lesson. Now you're receptive to putting distance between you and this old person. And just letting this go. But you haven't told them this. Why is depth here? What's the depth? That there's a confession. Only you. You haven't told this person that you're the only one for me. And that someday, one day, we're going to be together. You haven't told them that. And they don't think. You send them mixed signals. But the truth is, is that you are wanting them you just haven't told them that. Alright, so let's find out what you should do here. What should this person do when it comes to the moon, justice, and the fool? The chariot is here with the queen of swords. So if there's a Gemini, Libra, or Taurus, to definitely a Libra or Gemini. What, what should they do about this new start? The Fool again and the Queen of Swords. This person has good boundaries. They could be a widow or somebody who's been divorced. The Fool and the Nine of Wands. You're starting over after some heavy shit. What should they do about this shit? What should they do about the moon energy? The devil's here. There's a strong desire. There's been a secret. It's like a secret of energy. You have this very strong desire. This is Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, Aries, and Gemini. Alright, what's the desire? What is this desire that they're hiding? That could have been the addiction too, though. Three Pentacles. You desire to work together with somebody. You desire for something to work or to have a job to work. All right, what's justice? Justice is the Page of Pentacles. So this is like an inspiration, a thought, an idea. This could be the child also. All right, why is the Fool here? Because... You're looking for an opportunity to go back to somewhere. Why are you wanting to go back? Well, that's a lot of cards. Because of the fool, 
feeling like somebody doesn't care about your feelings. You're, they're not taking any love. There's injustice here. So you're needing justice. That's why it was in reverse. You're not willing to take a risk. Because you're not, you're being stubborn about taking love, okay? You don't want to leave. You're, you don't want to be left out. You're, you're getting out of this place of anxiety, of feeling imprisoned. And this person that you broke it up with, that this is a queen of swords, somebody you broke it off with, it's an ex. You do not want to go back to something that would cause arguments. And you're not willing to take a risk. This is something you're not. This person that got pregnant, you're done with that, okay? You're done with that. They, they treated you wrong. They did you wrong. So what are you manifesting? This is the new, whatever. The, oh, there's a card on the floor. I don't even know how it got down there. <clears throat> the Three of Cups. You're friends with these people. And then you have denial. The magician is about some friends you're in denial about. What is the denial that you're in with these friends that were hiding? There's friends that are hiding stuff. Oh, there's about to be a tower and something's going to end because of injustice. So there's about to be a tower that's causing an ending. Clarify the tower. Holy shit. There's going to be an Ace of Cups, an Ace of Wands, an Empress, and a Page of Swords. There's an Empress that's about to get an exciting message about somebody who wants to show her love and passion. Wow. Someone. This is the someone. Thank God my son was you. The tower is that you're ending it with these old relationships. Anything that was not working in your life is ending so you can be with this empress. And this empress loves you. They're loyal, but they felt rejected and they felt like you sent them mixed signals. But you're about to send them the signal that, hey, I love you, I want you, and it's gonna be so exciting. This is so exciting, it's time for this. And the clock says, this, you could also be pregnant. The clock says 10 after 2. So, 210 could somehow be significant. And this nightmare is over. The nightmare is finally over. Alright, show me what's going to be the outcome here of this relationship. Show me what's going to be the outcome of the Empress's relationship. It's time. It's time for a stalemate to end. You've been at a stalemate. Like, you felt like there was no moves for you. It's over. That's over. You're about to have brand new love that's very passionate about you. And this is going to be exciting. Somebody's been pretending, wearing a facade about how they feel. Their beliefs. Alright. What are you trusting in divine timing about? Some memories. What memories? Somebody had a lot of ego and they lost control. All right. So what's going on with them now? They want to. Sh they're overcoming this, so they can show you this Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is clarifying the Ace of Cups. They are overcoming their ego and being out of control, so they can have unity with you and show you love. And you could be pregnant. There's a rebirth happening. This could happen in the winter. Anything else that we need to know here? There's a there's a, there's a breakthrough happening. Use your intuition. Your ancestors and guides are helping you with this situation. Somebody that is a Native American. Somebody has long blonde hair. Um, somebody is wearing a facade about their beliefs, though. That keeps coming up. Why are they wearing a facade? Because of somebody being nurturing and compassionate. They, they are remembering and awakening, and that's what's causing the rebirth. So while you were going through this tough time with all of this stuff, this person nurtured you, and they were compassionate towards all of the things you went through. And you are remembering this. That's the memories that were showing up here. The winter. This is happening in the winter. 
and there there's going to be somebody who could not express the truth to you that's going to finally open up and express the truth to you all right since we know we have a divine feminine where is she at here she's doing inner child or she could be pregnant where's the divine masculine at here he is saying no in reverse there, the answer is no to an offer. Why is this answer no to an offer? Because of this dark shit. So he's saying no to somebody's offer because of the darkness. Why is it in reverse? Because of a third party and being stuck in his family. Alright. So what's connecting these two? There's a metamorphosis taking place. When it comes to a twin flame, forgiveness, communication, and being amused. Somebody who's very creative. And no settling. They're not settling anymore. This is coming together. And it's coming together very soon. What do we need to know here, Spirit? That somebody is not longing? What do you mean they're not longing? Because of the interference. They want balance and they're going slow. What's going to be the outcome? Somebody is in denial about mastering a spiritual lesson. What do you mean they're in denial? They're having to wait. So why do we need to know that? Because it has to do with trust and finances. Alright, what's going to be the outcome of the twin flame? Abundance came out. Anything else? There's an addiction there's an obsession this person needs support and forgiveness okay and it's a past life love it could be a, just somebody from your past anything else we need to know here there's a warning in reverse when it comes to retreating and being on different pages why is there no warning you're not going to get any warning about breaking up here because of setting boundaries, putting away the computer, your twin flame, taking care of yourself, and marriage. And regret because of the past, not being awake, a soulmate, not learning spiritual lesson, having a friend, helping you get over obstacles and get your stability. That you rejected, but it was protected. You're going to apologize. It's fate. There will be healing and no more strictly sexual beautiful beautiful all right so this is coming together period <laughs> okay all right let's get you some guidance and then we're gonna close peonia peacock priestess and bright destiny beautiful reading peonia number 27 24 and 14 All right, 27, Peonia. You are now being blessed with prosperity, abundance, and creativity to enhance this time of joy and amplify your experience of grace. Practice gratitude. Simply be happy for what you have and what is being given to you. The universe loves to keep on giving to those who are grateful and happy to receive and who give back to life from a heart with gratitude and a positive attitude. This is such a healing time for you. The healer within is awakening and your ability to give and receive healing energy is becoming more powerful. Your soul connection to animals, plants, and crystals will support your healing and increase your energy to attract creative, positive life experiences for yourself and others. Are you part woman, part fairy queen? Is that gleam of beautiful brightness, magic, and flirtatious mischief in your eyes? Your soul catches the light. If any person or situation makes you feel less than your stunning true self, then take a moment to affirm the truth of beauty, your magic, and your otherworldly charm. Remember that you are a glittering creature with so much to offer. Peonia, the fairy queen of the peony flower, brings you the abundance of beautiful blessings to assist you to fulfill your divine destiny. Renewal after a deep and profound loss. 
the sweetness of romance, love, and feminine beauty, and special blessing for healing and restoration of the body, mind, and soul. The fairy folk are interested in you. They see that you have the ability for healing, for saving the environment. See that you have the ability for healing, for saving the environment, for awakening higher consciousness in others through art, music, dance, or the way you are with plants, animals, and crystals. In recognition and encouragement of your spiritual purpose, your talents, Peonia brings you abundance and prosperity. She brings you happiness and love, and even if your heart truly desires it, fame in your future. The Earth Mother and her fairy creatures are encouraging and supporting you wholeheartedly to find and fulfill your life purpose. Number 24. This is such a beautiful reading. This is what we all are wanting and desiring in life someone to love us if you feel impatient for something to happen or worried that you are not accomplishing all that you want quickly enough then take heart the universe is working with you not against you to bring your dream to life even times when not much seems to be happening are part of the creative process balancing out other times when energy becomes active and intense what will be most helpful for you and your dreams right now is to rest during that pleasurable rest behind the scenes some spiritual magic is going to be created and then bright destiny it's okay to feel unclear or even confused about what is happening in your life or within you at this time it's like that because you're going through soul growth Things will become clear in time. For now, however, let the process happen. Fear can make us try to force something that isn't quite ready yet. Don't try to impose a meaning, take action, or understand it all prematurely. Don't think too hard. When it is time for you to act, you'll know it. It's okay to relax and trust that the moment of clarity will come when the time is right remember it said something about that in the reading okay so let's see what um message might what's gonna happen here with this situation oh that flew out there's about to be a transformation you're gonna have courage good luck you're gonna find your life purpose have justice and have prosperity and you're going to also you have a spirit guide assisting you. And you're very talented. You're very talented and you're going to get answers. You have psychic abilities and dreams. Okay. So let's see what guidance your higher self has for you here. You've got, your higher self says you've been angry. You're going to get on the right path. You need to listen for direction. And it's something about failure and letting go. Feeling like a failure. Stop feeling like a failure. You're not a failure. All right. Let's see what the sacred landscape would say to you. What's going on here, sacred landscape? It's hard to keep going on the floor. What's going on here is... Openness. Somebody's finally opening up to you. They're they're gonna have wisdom, and there's going to be stillness. What's gonna be the outcome of the stillness? Trust and moving forward with happiness. That's beautiful. All right. Let's see how the angels are helping you here. Angels, how are you helping here? You're helping with manifestation, somebody showing mercy, and a partnership. Alright, and you're also going to have a powerful partnership. Let's see what's going on with your money. What's going on with your money here, Spirit? Divine timing, you're going to have a surprise. In divine timing, you're going to have a surprise and angelic help. I don't even want to spoil it. There's something very, very amazing about to happen in your life. Can we have a hint about the surprise? Good strong answers only, please, about this surprise. Spirit says, you're going to manage your money. You're going to be a phoenix rising. Be patient. Your soul tribe is going to change also. 
be patient. What are we waiting for? Something that you can't see about your money coming to a halt or somebody's money coming to a halt. Happiness and something illegal. So somebody's money's coming to a halt because of their happiness and something illegal. Outcome of that. Your home, gossip, spirituality, and your soul tribe. And your angelic help. Alright, what's the gossip about? Something that spirit doesn't want you to talk about when it comes to being inspired, unlocking something, having somebody help you when it comes to injustice and something to do with science. Sorry, I bumped the camera. What's the gossip about? The gossip is about somebody fulfilling a fantasy, having to use sexual protection, and not getting kicked to the curb. What do you mean not getting kicked to the curb? Somebody is falling apart. They're getting a divorce. They got betrayed. They were busy. And somebody was toxic. They were burning the evidence and they were not fucked up and destroyed. They were just chilling out. Whew. Anything else we need to know here? Somebody is um, brainstorming and figuring out that somebody's a copycat. What do you mean copycat? Somebody's a player and they've been into games. And what's going to be the outcome of that? You're not going to defend yourself. Why not? Because you know that you can see through this person. You know they've been cheating because you're aligned with the universe. You know you need to be cautious and you're not enjoying the gossip. Alright, what would your best friend say? Love leads to healing and you know what you're doing. Love leads to healing and you know what you're doing. Alright. So, let's see who you are. K-I-M, Kim, F-Z-Y-H, number one. So, your name could be Kim. K-S-H-W-J-E-N, number one. L F N F N L E five. Wow. V C G C I A ten V. One more time. N A N N A T P C Z number seven. All right, trinkets, real quick. Spirit, trinkets. All right, I see there's a fortune cookie here. Let the spirit of adventure set the tone. You versus you, a gasket, an acorn, a cowboy boot inside of a horseshoe, a squid or an octopus, a wave, a fish, a shell, the letter A, an EKG with a heart, somebody could have a heart murmur, a bird, a, a heart, a crown, a Mustang horse, a Pegasus, Harry Potter nine and three quarters, a leaf, a heart with a tree in it, a family tree, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine, an arrow that says love, she believes she could, so she did, and Susan B. Anthony, your name could be Susan, somebody could have a name with B or Anthony, alright, think it's going to start out here, spirit. Alright, I have two huge keys, a piece of crystal, a metal headgear, a blue and white marble, an Eiffel Tower, a light bulb, another piece of crystal, another crown, you might drink crown, a star of David, you could be Jewish, your name could be, or your name could be David, cherries, and a ball. Oh, and a music note with a skull on it. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys got something out of this. Somebody is about to have a relationship come together. And it's because you were there for somebody through the darkest times of their life when everybody else betrayed, manipulated, and left them. 
be blessed and enjoy one another. Be, be loving, be kind, be gentle with one another, and appreciate what you have in this person. Okay? Take care now. Bye-bye.